Good evening, guys. Got another video for you. I think it's a pretty short one because uh, it's pretty easy. Now, I'll admit, it took me a good full day to figure this out, and then I clued in and I was like, I just did everything the hardest way possible. And I'm hoping this will help you guys out. Um, so today I'm going to talk about using WireGuard VPN. Now, I've never used it. I've always used OpenVPN, and I've always used IPsec tunnels, but oh, uh, WireGuard is extremely easy. And once I figured it out, I was like, holy crap, this literally takes 30 seconds to create a tunnel. And then get your phone connected to Untango with WireGuard? That was another five seconds even though it took me almost a full day to figure it out because I was doing things the 100% wrong way. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to enable it and do a tunnel from uh, two untangle boxes, my test box, and then the one over there in my lab. And then after that, I'm going to show you creating and connecting your phone to the one that's uh, the test box that's further away. So uh, let's log in, let's show it, and uh, go from there. First. Before I go though, I want to say thank you to the 120 subscribers that are on here watching my videos and liking them and giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. I appreciate that so much. Thank you very much. And uh, the Patreon people that are joining up, I appreciate those too. So hopefully by the end of the year or maybe in a couple months, we'll have some uh, goodies. I'm going to go up and buy a subscription and do a giveaway for that soon. So let's see if that can uh, get that happening for one of you guys there. So let's jump in. So I'm going to launch my browser that we use for this. We'll log into our command center. First, we have to log into our Bitwarden. Uh, uh, log into here. We got to wait a couple seconds because we got 2FA enabled on here. Hopefully you do too. And there's our code. Control C, we'll give it. So we got two boxes here. We got the one behind me and then we have the one remote. So let's log into both of these one at a time. Uh, we'll go remote access. Okay, that one's coming online. Make sure this is the one close to me, yep. And then we'll do the HP test unit. We'll go remote access to that one too. I'm just gonna switch them around in the uh, tabs up here so I can know which one I'm dealing with. Makes my life easier. Okay, what do we need first to make this work? Of course, we need Home Pro and or a subscription that has the um, service in there. So let's go to the first box. We'll go to our apps. We'll make sure that we have our WireGuard installed on that one, and then we'll go to the second one. We'll make sure we have WireGuard installed on that one. Right there. I'm just gonna turn it on. Now, before I go too, too far here, let's uh, go like this. I don't want it to open up in my default browser. I want it to open up in this one. So let's go over here. So I'll come out and say it, I have ADHD. So us people who have ADHD don't learn by reading things. We actually see things and go, oh, way easier. Uh, and some people can read a document and go, wow, I can figure that out, no problem. Some people have to see pictures. Me, pictures, videos helps a lot more. It's probably why YouTube is so successful because uh, Tom Lawrence and other people who do videos and he shows people how to do stuff, they learn that a lot better than reading it. And I'm gonna come out and say it, the Untango Wiki is really, really not that good. They put a couple pictures here and there, here and there, and it's not really that good. But I'm gonna put the link to what I'm seeing right here to do it. So I followed this four or five times and I just could not figure it out at all. I was going through it, I'm getting IP addresses, I'm putting in information. You don't have to do any of that. It's there, it's already made for you already. The second you turn it on, WireGuard, it's already there, ready to go. And what, show, what I mean by that, I'll show you right now. Watch this. Let's see how easy it is to make a tunnel VPN. Now, with my luck, I'm jinxing myself, but let's do this. So, right now, we have no tunnels active, right, on this one. That's the main unit. Let's go to the second unit. Unit. We'll go here. There's no tunnels active, but we'll do this. So, we'll go back to status. I didn't know this, but if you go like this, 
this right here, you copy this, and you just have to do it vice versa. So you copy one to the other in a cross form, like an X. So from this one to here and here to there, and it works. Watch this. So now we'll go over here and we'll go add. And there's another little trick right here. Since I've copied that information, if I control V it, it automatically populates everything on one side. So now all we have to do is go done. Okay, so now we just go back to status and we copy this one to the other side. Over here, tunnels, add, control V, done, save, forgot to save those, sorry, save. Go back to the status and it's up, it's right there, it's working. Let's refresh this one and it's right there. We got an active tunnel, tunnel. Like that is so easy. There's nothing at all to think about to make this work. Now I can see, I can show you that this is working because on the second box, we'll go like this and we'll go to config network. And I believe there's a switch, right? Uh, refresh. Uh, what's the submit on this one? I just changed it because I, I expired on my, um, on my, uh, trial we only got 14 days and sometimes i don't have enough time for that so this one's 192.168.88.1 and what did we say last time we put a switch at the second number so if we go ping 192.168.88.2 i should be able to hit the switch there it is pretty easy right so let's go 192.168.88.2 should be able to hit our hp switch we have there for the test Hopefully, yeah, there it is. We'll log in because there's no password. I mean, I spent five or six hours working on this. I was copying things and putting in information and I was like, I don't know how to do it. I actually reached out to Barry. Thank you, Barry, for all your help and assistance on that. And we couldn't figure it out. I just totally gapped out. But as you just saw, it literally takes the amount of time logging into two boxes and two different tabs Copy, paste, copy, paste, push, apply, and guess what? Now, there's no rules, and there's no uh, security on there, but that you could tweak and, and fix and do certain things on when you've got that going, right? But that just shows that. Here's another way. Watch this. So let's go back to our second box, which is our second tab. We'll go back to apps. We'll go to uh, WireGuard VPN. We'll go tunnels. We'll create one now, and we'll use my phone. And we'll just scan the QR code that pops up on the screen and it'll show you that it connects. So let's go with this and go add. We'll call it Jason, Jason's uh, S21 Ultra. All right, Ultra. And we'll go done. Don't have to put anything else in there. Just push done. We'll save it. Okay, I'll take my phone. I'll turn off my Wi-Fi here at home. Okay, you have to have the app on your phone, obviously. So let's go at this and go, uh, not that one, WireGuard. We'll go add, scan from QR code. Okay, I'm in the scan from QR code here. And all we have to do is go remote client and that, pop, that QR code is now popping up here. It scans the QR code and says, hey, what do you want to name this? We're going to call this to test, oh, to test box. Oh, I see. It doesn't want to do spaces, that box. Okay. Create tunnel. Okay. Now, we'll just go like this and go close, save. We'll go back to the status. We've already got... We've already got the two there, but we have no traffic going back and forth. Now, if I go at this and I click Jason's test box, right? Connected, the key comes up, done. Now, if I try to go to, if I refresh this down here on the screen right here, there's no bytes in and out. We'll go at this and refresh it. We're seeing traffic go across that. Now, I should be able to go, let's go, what was the address? 192.168.88.2. There's our HP switch. Now that box is not here. It's somewhere far away, right? Uh, I mean, that's awesome. Why didn't I try doing this a long time ago? Why did I always download the uh, 
the uh, OpenVPN cert and download it and put it on here and then pay for the app and all that stuff. I mean, I didn't have to pay for the app. I could use the OpenVPN client, but um, I used the other one. What did I use? I used that, um, oh, don't have it installed on this. Oh, yes, I do, right there. I used to use Viscosity. I love this piece of software. I used to use it at my last work and I love how easy it is and shows you what's going on and you can do different things and stuff like that. But WireGuard is even easier. Now, here's something I haven't done yet. So since we're on the second box here, we can go Tunnel and we should be able to go Add. We'll call this Lenovo P1, which is what I'm working on right now, Gen 2. And we'll go Done. Okay. Now we should be able to go, oh, not cancel. We should be able to go save, so it creates it. Download this code. We should go configuration file, copy. I'm presuming this is supposed to work like this. Close. Let's uh, close our viscosity. And if I go like this and go WireGuard inactive. Uh, so if we go import, or can we just go paste? Add an empty tunnel. Okay, so let's go. No, nope, didn't like that. Do I have to actually? It looks like I have to download it, maybe. So let's go. Oh, wrong one again, sorry. Configuration file. I think we're supposed to be able to copy this. Yeah? I don't know. Add a tunnel, import, log. I don't know. So let's see how do we do this. Wire, wire guard, ARD, wire guard, uh, win, win, windows, I guess? Let's see what it says here. Wow. Installation. I mean, there's gotta be a way to get that information in here. Do I have to create a file maybe? Maybe just go notepad. What do we call this though? So it's looking for a dot conf. So let's go at this and go save as desktop. Uh, test. is open wow can we go activate ta-da learn something on the fly for you guys that i mean uh, probably there's another way of doing that but that's pretty uh that's pretty sweet so in theory i've got two tunnels going on right now which is not a good thing but it's active it's working now if i go back to the other one here uh here and go back to status and see all three of them working. I mean, I don't know why I didn't try this many years ago. Probably because I was stuck in something old and I like the old ways, but I'm going to, I'm going to try doing this some more often now. So thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully this became helpful to somebody else that's going to want to try uh, wire guard. Um, I mean, as you can see there, it really wasn't that hard to do. And I'm pretty sure that's why they made this because people were getting confused on other ways of doing tunnels and stuff. So that's my video. Hopefully it helps you out. Yes, I'm wearing my Untangle shirt again because I really like it and it's comfy. It's cold out here where I am because it's snowing and uh, I like wearing it. So hopefully this video helped you out. If there's any questions, um, send me an email. I get lots of them, so I'm answering them to you guys. So 
uh, yeah, next video, I'm hoping to do the SSO uh, monitoring this app right here. I'll show you. Uh, SSL Inspector. I played with that, got that working, works great. So that'll be the next video. For now, I'm signing off. Have a great day.